the, cr- the crisp yeah, in yeah. there. Yeah. No. So, <laughs> yeah, yo, yo, you hit that note, bro. You hit that shit. Damn, is this running my ears? Am I on the call? Yeah, run, bro. Do it again. <laughs> and I'm feeling good. Mm. You, you, got, <laughs> you gotta get that feeling. Yeah, you're right. I gotta get that run. That, 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 yeah. r- the run effect. <laughs> It sound like auto tune. <laughs> that shit sound like auto tune. Do it again. <laughs> Hi man, we were just talking about some real stuff, you know, sword fighting. Yep. Um, sword fighting. We're about to check out a first reaction from my man with us. Right. Oh wait, wait. That's the first one. Wait. Mac nia the live recorder. A few moments uh, later. We've been checking out Ren content together me and Esh Bloom, who is my guest mm-hmm. I'll, I'll give him a proper introduction and introduction in a second he's checked out Hyren. he's checked out the hunger which is on my channel Hyren is on his channel we checked out murderer which is on his channel and then we checked out castles made of sand yeah that one yeah which is one of my favorites on his channel as well now we're doing this one here because this is going to be a first introduction for my man for the big push now this is a big push from my end to get you guys to go support him check his stuff out watch his videos and if you like what you like leave a like there leave a comment with suggestions for new ones let's grow that channel let's grow the support let's go to grow support for Ren and the big push as well leave some comments there flood his comment section with the most sus stuff uh, i mean the most best suggestions recommendations nah bro at ash plume at ash plume reacts i always say this we uh, we don't care what you send in if you want me to check out sesame street we're gonna have a good time checking out sesame street there we go yeah, also, if you want to help support the channel, help him get a, a new PC <laughs> to edit stuff. Uh, he's got a, the, like a link in his description, donation link and stuff. No obligation, no obligation, of course. Of course, so. I got some, uh, yeah, yeah, shameless <laughs> plug. I got some, uh, I got Ren albums here because you know I support the boy. Ren's my guy, but also the big push. Love the band. I've been checking them out so much on the channel. So I just want to say, go support them. Like, go sub to yep. them. Go check out their stuff. Uh, similar to what Eshplum's going to be doing now. The Big Push, have you ever heard of them? No, so I'm guessing Ren is in, in The Big Push. Mm-hmm. And The Big Push is like a street group band, or that's what I'm seeing here at, at the thumbnail picture. You, this, you are a detective, man. Like You deduced it perfectly. This is exactly mm-hmm. what it is. So uh, they're not currently active, but they have been active in the past. And they were mainly seen rocking the streets of Brighton, which is where they're from, if Brighton. I'm not mistaken. B- Brighton. But actually, Ren is from there, I believe. Uh, I'm very certain. Mm. But I think the band is from there as well. I think one of them is now, he's a tech guy and, or in India or something like Dave. And Romain, who is the guitarist, you'll, you'll see him. You'll know who, you don't know who he is now, but you'll figure out who he is for sure. Mm-hmm. He's, uh, he's doing some solo work as well, which I have to check out. Maybe I will check it out with you together because he's dropping new stuff. So I think that'd be So that's chill. guitar stuff. Yeah, it's it's a bunch of everything in this in this uh, in this thing. This is a band uh, first reaction. But oh no 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 no! But I said you said he released some solo stuff. Is that guitar stuff? The solo stuff. We'll have to find out, man. We'll have to find okay. out because I haven't seen much uh, solo curious. stuff. We have to find out, man. I'm curious. I, yeah, we're first going to do this, man. Dip dip the toes in the water mm-hmm. with weight in the water. Nina Simone, trouble I mean, so hard. I'm always a little curious, but you know what I mean. The big so, push, right? So, Eshplum, Esh you're a professional beatboxer. That's what the title here says on YouTube. Now, mm-hmm. what does that mean, man? Well, professional beatboxer means that you can do stuff like... Stuff like that, you know. That shit was beautiful. Um, <laughs> yes, that was absolutely beautiful. Cheers, guys. Uh, we're going to be checking out the Big Push for the first time. Go check Hell out yeah. Esh Plume's Fresh Bloom, Bloom's channel. DJ and, uh, Fresh Bloom. DJ Fresh Bloom in the hisse. Go check out his channel. Malibu's Most Wanted. Uh, <laughs> Ali, Ali Go check Plume. out Anthony. 
You're cool. already watching it on his channel. But go check out Anthony. <laughs> Belgium's <laughs> most wanted. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, go check out his channel. Leave, leave a bunch of comments about his beard and stuff and ask for his beard care, skincare routine, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, because Esh Plume and me are going to be checking out all the other ones on his channel. So Hell yeah. Y'all yeah, got more That's content. Is. But just do support the original. You ready, May? I am ready. Let's go. Wacht, hallo? Ja? Druk jij op die ding of druk ik op die ding? Uit. Ja? Huh? <laughs> ik heb al gedrukt, hè? <laughs> Wat? Ik ben aan het kijken. Je lult. Je... Bij mij niet. A few moments later. What the f So this is very different from what I've um, yes heard exactly. for, I threw you now. I threw you off guard with this one because you did not see this coming, did you? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And uh, there's a couple of things exactly. I think over here when he starts singing. Moses this is a weird technique for me. Mm -hmm. uh, the <laughs> like cutting off the air in your throat, you know, yeah, to get yeah. the the. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I don't. It, it for me, it just doesn't sound pleasant. Yeah. Um, but it's a. I don't know. It 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 does fit his style, though. I I, yeah. I, I would say. Tip my guard on a trouble. Water. It does add more emotion. It's uh, that way. remember what we talked about on the Castle of Sand reaction, where he has this. He uses his voice in a manner where he's. It's like he's conveying a a, a place of agony, mm -hmm. wailing frustration. Right. It's like mm -hmm. where it, you said that. Like it comes from sorrow. It comes from that. It's yeah. very similar with his singing, mm -hmm. where he has that cadence where he da -da 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 -da, raps like that. But it works, yeah. and it doesn't work with everybody. But for some reason, it works with him. I mean, for some reason, yeah. it's probably because he can sing too. Uh, I do hear what you're saying because I've heard some people uh, say that they prefer not to hear that, right? Yeah, and I get that's just personal preference. It's I, I not get, bad. Yeah, 100. percent I get where that comes from. A lot of people, not a lot of people. So I've heard the uh, that critique a couple of times. I do. Mm -hmm. I will tell you though that over the years because this is this is old well old this is i think wait i have it over here four years ago yeah so now he's got newer songs where he's not outside uh he's not having the homie 
you know, change the straps on it, the shoulder straps on his guitar. It's not recorded with a, a phone off of a off of a, a speaker. He's actually sitting at home in a couch, has a Shure mic, an SM7B, and it's yep. you know all, you know post production done really nice. And he's just alone, focused sh- purely on the singing. And I will tell you that a lot of those things, his singing is is way better than it is here. Mm. Just be, just right. these these recordings, they capture the vibe. They capture that one moment that those people got to capture in real life and it, it's just there for people to see and it's so uh i'd say magnetic or it's like this magical mm-hmm. moment because it, it it got 12 million views or 11 million views oh, this gee. video and it's literally yeah. them you know like yo let's go on the on on the you know streets of brighton yeah. or whatever this is record you know get our setup record our thing and it blew up right wow so yeah, this is basically like with beatboxers. Oh, let's do a street cipher, just like yeah. that. And the video exactly. gets twelve million views. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's just because they were able to capture that moment, uh, put it on the internet for all of us to see. There's just something it, magical it, here. It also kind of reminds me of that uh, band outside. They're also, I think, also from London, and they do Mini the Moocher. I don't know that. You don't know that? We're, I will check it out uh, sometime. Okay. It, it really reminds me of this. I'll, I'll, I'll show you it later. Okay. But let's watch uh, this. Uh, They're called uh, Bro- Brothers Moving. That's the band. Yeah, that's then they're doing a street uh, thing. Okay. As well. Okay. Okay. I might but need I'll, to check I'll it show out. you later. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. part is really nice that part singing is, in that is, is really on point yes 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 the crisp yeah, in the yeah. so <laughs> yo, yo you hit that no bro you hit that shit damn is this run in my ears am i on the call yeah, run, bro. do it again <laughs> run plume do it again bro do it again hold on uh, bro i need to i need to hear it one more time because okay yeah, yeah. Hey. Is, is, is it's the crisp. People like, hey man, what's this uh, homosexual activity going on with the neighbors? Yeah. Oh, so but hey. the thing is, I'm trying to, because I can get a little bit that crisp because it's very, very, very light throat bass. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It's like compressing of the vocals. It's compressing of the yeah, vocals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, so the thing with uh, Ren's vocals is he kind of effortlessly just throws these things out there. That's mm-hmm. what he's doing with the la da 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 type of uh, vocal tantrums. He goes on, right? Mm-hmm. He just pulls it out of his pocket and goes. Whoa. He'll just do that here and there, and for mm. some people, it's a little bit too much. But he's just playing. He's just feeling it out. Like yeah. it's, it's some of, a lot of this stuff is just going with the flow, being in flow state, and kind of improvising little extra extra yeah. details, which you can only do when you get to a certain level of expertise. It's the same with beatboxing. So when you're yeah. doing, you have you a get certain, this freedom. Yes, Napalm, one of the biggest mm-hmm. beatboxers. He'll have a routine, right? His uh, I don't know, uh, whatever routine he has, and then he'll just add certain variations, or he'll ch- change the genre on the spot on stage, mm-hmm. and just make it up, yeah. and it works, right? Mm-hmm. So when I started beatboxing, I couldn't do when I was freestyling. I couldn't do a lot of stuff, so I was limited on what I could freestyle with, you know. Yeah. 
But then I got to a certain point, and I remember talking to about this with my friends that also beatboxed. Like, hey, I, I'm, I'm noticing that when I freestyle now, I can do a whole bunch more, I have a whole bunch more freedom. But the the thing is, it is in your, it is already in your head, but you cannot yeah. put it on paper, you know? Yes. And if you, you have the skill to put it on paper, then you unlock so much freedom to jam along with everything almost, you know? So you That's mean cool. if you're able to write it down? No, no, put it on paper in the sense of um, uh, put it, uh, bring it to reality. So oh. uh, some people, they know music, they understand music, they know yeah. what needs to come next, they know the chords, etc., etc. But yeah. their body is just incapable of performing the act, singing, beatboxing, So these rapping. people become like songwriters or, uh, you know, sometimes yeah, or, they, they become coaches or stuff like that. Basically, sure. There can there can be if you if you want if you say like yeah I'm not going to practice but some some of those people they put in the time to practice, and those people will see because you already have right. it in your head but your body cannot do it then you will see oh I get more and more freedom to perform what is in my head and do that like on point just like so on the yeah you're saying you you already have the blueprint in your mind or you how you want to approach it in theory but then on mm -hmm. paper you mean like you actually develop the skills and the ability to to process that and just execute yes. that's what you mean yeah okay okay and, and you get yeah. at one point in, in, in the in the when you get better 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 and with singing rapping whatever you get mm -hmm. at one point where it's like on par with how you can think it yeah i can imagine that you if you just think a bar you can immediately just say it I when I when I'm rapping I have to I'm like lagging my mind is yeah. going far faster than my rendering mouth, speed you know? yeah it doesn't yeah. have the right uh, RAM data it doesn't have the right processor exactly yeah okay I get it I get it. it but that's that's yeah you're right that's the skill thing that's the skill thing mm -hmm. yeah you're right. You see, how they freestyle it? You see how, uh, oh. <laughs> wait, pause this. You see how, uh, the home, so the homie with the hat, the main guitarist, lead guitarist, I guess, well, they're all guitarists in a way. He is, yep. uh, I call him Domain, but he's Romain because I, because he always dominates the, the, mm -hmm. when he starts solo stuff, he dominates. So I call him Domain. Mm -hmm. Uh, Domain Jujutsu Kaisen, Domain Expansion. Yep. Domain Expansion. <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen. Goto Sama. I, uh, geeks. Uh, but the guy who took over the vocals here, right? His name is, Go if I'm not mistaken, his name is Goran. Goran. Mm. And he can, like, I think everybody here can sing, which is kind of crazy. The drummer is Glenn. Just giving a little, uh, little back in, uh, information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what you notice this here, because uh, Romain he says something or does something, and Goran's like, oh, you want to take over or something like that. He's like, nah, you're good, and then he just continues. So you see how mm. much it's like, they have a certain idea of, okay, we're going to do these three songs, but they improvise it, and you can tell when Goran is singing the... Normally, the standard thing is, birds flying high, you know how I feel, oh, yeah, yeah. sun in the sky, you know how I feel, breathe drifting on by you know how i feel it's a new dawn 
It's that structure. Damn. That's the original. Anthony uh, Anthony Sinatra over here. Uh. Nah, bro. You know, I mean, you were showing off your vocals a little bit. So I was like, <laughs> it's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. Mm. But you, you, got, <laughs> you gotta get that yeah you're right i gotta get that rin that 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 yeah. the yeah. rin effect yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sound like auto-tune that shit sound like auto-tune do it again <laughs> you know that's not like a guitar oh, wawa the fucking yeah. wawa thing uh, hold on hold on hey yo hold on let me do this shit it's a new dawn it's a new day it's a new life for me And I'm feeling, <laughs> and I'm feeling <laughs> good, good. <laughs> okay. Birds flying high. <laughs> Birds flying high. You know how I feel. Could you do it with a uh, vibration bass? Da -da -da -da. Mm -hmm. um, a better with throw bass. Throw bass? Birds fly in high. Yeah. Hi. Mm -hmm. Now it's gonna be mm -hmm. laggy as fuck, bro. Mm -hmm. We're not yeah, but I can me. sync it in. I can sync it in the editor. So I'm, you just I'm, do it I'm, on my. I'll be. I'll be editing this one. Okay, you you can uh, sync it. In hey, the unless editor. you want to edit this one, bro. Like, you, um, you mean uh, you just suggested it? So you want to edit this? No, That's no, crazy, no, no. I'm bro. I appreciate. I appreciate that effort, bro. I'm I already editing the hard work. a fucking uh, 58 minute video. <laughs> God for the thing. <laughs> Okay. Let's go on the streets. Let's go on the streets. What? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you do, you cut me off. You cut me off. Let's go on the street with two mics and just do this shit, bro. <laughs> let's, let's get viral hits. We're gonna get 12 views on YouTube. Bro, imagine if I just kept playing it and it's just uh, let's go on the streets. <laughs> But yeah, the communication, and that is, uh, but to go back on that, so my dad is in a band, and when uh, you are in a band and something goes wrong, it's important that you have these types of communication to keep it going, you know? Yep. Because there's lots of bands that when they make a mistake, the whole band crumbles, it's just the whole castle uh, uh, collapses, you know? The castle of sand. The castle of sand just collapses. Yeah. And... Um, Yeah, but if you have this good communication, and it doesn't even need to be shouting. Now I think it's shouting because it's a freestyle. Yeah. But if this was like a actual song, you could all, all also do this in the sense of like looking at each other, like you know, giving somebody the eye, like yeah. hey, you're playing it wrong. It's, or whatever, it's similar you know? in a beatbox cipher where where like one wants to take over, but usually you give priority to the guy who's currently doing the most. So mm. if if me and you were rapping on a beat, right? I would mm -hmm. give you signs that I wanted to take over, like, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, might, I might ad lib you going, uh, get him and, and rhyme your words. But then I'd be like, yeah, look, here, yeah. look. And, then, and you'd be like, oh, AR's going to spit. I'm in the cut and I'm ripping shit. Like, yeah. yeah, but that's the thing. That's how, like, Harry Mack does it with other freestyle uh, rappers. They just, oh, that's that. Oh, and that's how it goes in a cypher. Or in a beatbox, it'll be like, like it'll, they'll go closer to the mic. So what, yeah. what, what Romain did, he literally said, no, no, you're good. And he put his hand mm -hmm. out. But also what he did was he stepped away from the mic. That's a clear indication, yeah. like body language. Like, no, no, you keep, keep mm -hmm. doing your thing. Yeah, you're yeah. right. That's all part of communication. You're right. And to be skillful mm -hmm. at it, uh, you just need, mainly it's the drummer that needs to keep going. Because it's just the yeah. rhythm is the most important. The timing and the rhythm. That is why a drummer is key. The percussionist yeah. is key to keep the rhythm and timing going. But the most important thing still, you can be a really good drummer, but this is uh, something that a music teacher taught me when I was uh, very young. Very, very young. No, just uh, like a teenager. What the fuck? Um, yeah, and, um, What he did was he do to you, bro? Why do you say it like that? No, he was telling me good life advice, bro. Let me tell you this. Okay, yeah. So he was saying, um, 
if you uh, trip over a, a small rock, let's say, yeah, and you fall on the ground, are you going to go back when you stand up, go back to that rock to walk over it correctly this time? No. Or are you just going to walk for, forward? Yeah, you keep going. And that's yep. the same with music. So if you make a mistake, some people are going to be like, oh, we have to restart or we have to... No, you're going to keep going. Yeah. Because you're not going to go back to the rock that you just tripped but, over to walk over it correctly this time. A similar thing in beatboxing is, and I do this all the time, because I might mess up my flow, my percussion, because I do a lot of technical mm -hmm. stuff. I do a lot of... <sighs> And I might slip up in between with a pattern and completely butcher it. But then I'm like, nah, it is a slip up, but let's repeat the slip up so that it becomes part of the routine. Mm. So it'd be like, you hear the slip up? Mm -hmm. It's the, yeah, 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 yeah. That was not intentional. Yeah. So yeah. that's like, and you're like, fuck it, re redo it. So people think you make it look good. It's only mm -hmm. how it's perceived by the eye on the surface. They're like, they're like, exactly. that sounds off, but then you make it work or you tie it back. A lot of artists, if you're capable of doing this, that's, that shows skill. The, the re recovering and making it part of a drop because that is like the unexpected, huh, what's going on? Finishing it with a hard, like clean execution at the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's like freestyle ability on certain things. That's, that's yep. a good example I'd give on that. Yep. See the communication mm -hmm. while playing, Communi while communicating playing, yeah. with the guitar. Ren's following. Do you know what that's called on which, the guitar? Which part? To, to, to get the... I, I don't know if he used the whammy. To get it, yeah, it, it's, he, he did. I didn't see it, but I think he. So w when I hear that, I, it's usually the whammy bar, the one, the thing yeah. at the bottom. So you you can see it right there. Yeah, it's on yeah. The, it's on the bottom. He, I didn't pay attention if he if he was because I was looking at Ren uh, following. Uh, you know, I'm always looking at Ren Dame. Uh, so yep, I, I wasn't part. sure if the uh, look at those veins. I wasn't sure if he he mm. grabbed the the shtick. Yeah. I'm gonna grab Ren's stick, but if you look at the, the the bottom the bottom part of the guitar, you see that stick, and yeah. he went like pushing it down and putting the guitar upwards. Yeah, and uh, to get the wow effect. Used it. Yes, exactly. Yeah, Ren is so hard. <laughs> synergy at the end that's synergy right there mm -hmm. pure synergy like how they all slow yeah, down the drummer together. just slows it down and yep. everybody just follows yep they all know mm -hmm. yeah it's really nice thank you for showing me this because i really like this these types of bands bro, uh, bro. yeah like uh, in the netherlands yeah in the netherlands you have this as well uh, when you're especially in the summer you walk in amsterdam or like those big cities you have like these uh, small groups of people performing this type of shit, you know, yeah. and you can just stand around in a circle and watch them for like uh, half an hour and you, you, you move on. That's a vibe, yeah. you know. You know which band I really like from the Netherlands? Mm. Krezip. Krezip? You don't know Krezip? No, let me check. Krezip. And if I could, 
I would stay And if I'm oh. not, not Is that from the Netherlands? In the way And I'll Just stay that, yeah. In the distance yeah. And I'll grow up to be just like you mm-hmm. Yeah, that one Why yeah. should I uh, Yeah, bro, that's Krezip That's uh, Netherlands uh, uh, The reason Damn. I know this is because I met the, the lead singer in a record store And she spoke Dutch I'm like, what? What? Damn, I yeah. didn't know that Yeah, one of the, in my opinion, especially one of the best rock songs, uh, I Would Stay, I think it's called. I Would Stay. It's such a good song, bro. And did you know, and this is also another, an Ash Bloom Anthony Did You Know moment, <laughs> that yeah. the, 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 the guitarist from uh, ACDC lives in the Netherlands. Oh, for real? I didn't know that. That's yeah. fire. And uh, a lot of celebrities like to live in the Netherlands yeah. because Hobson, we, we, the we rapper. Dutch. Yeah, we, we we're just chill, you know. Yeah, y'all got like, legalized Wah. weed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. No, but it's it's actually from a research that people say uh, celebr- celebrities like to live in the Netherlands because we're chill. We're not going to be like, uh, oh, wow. Oh, I'm Peter Pie, Eminem, you know what the fuck? Yeah, I see you on the yeah, street. Belgium's Belgium's cool like that too. I've yeah. had I'm not big or anything, but I've had people come up to me and say, "Are you Anthony Ray?" I'm like, "Yeah." They're like, "Oh, word, that's fire." Have a nice day. <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, yeah you, you too, like, cool, sure." Yeah, but but, but like I, when I went to US. America, bro, when I went to America, it's literally the airport. Me getting off at Chicago. Oh my God, it's you! I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I'm like, who the fuck is? It? I'm like, what the fuck? I've never had that in my life. Anthony Ray. I'm like, yo, chill, chill, lady, <laughs> chill, damn. But overall, I would like to see more um, of the of the big push. Ah, stop me, Lee. Yes, Zivered. The big push. No, 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 what? no, no. What zit je nou te lullen, goos? Ik kom hey, mij also en ik maak je dood, vriend. Eh, 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 kappen. Hey, kappen doe je in het bos, neuken doe je met de vos. All right, okay. man. All right, man. Dus uh, pas maar op. Like and subscribe. Go check out <laughs> Eschplum's channel. If you want to see more of these bearded individuals say absolute nonsense over some uh, music, some good music. Alright, fuck this.